Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're currently thinking about or connecting with. What do you need to know about them, their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and next actions towards you. Um, keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Aries watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. All right, so Aries, let's get into this messages for Aries. I'm going to be using the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Oracle deck to get your energies for each other first. For Aries. What does Aries need to know? For Aries. Tell me about Aries. What are their energies at this time? Tell me about Aries. What are their energies at this time? Oh, I got two. Bat and Owl. Interesting. The Owl is very spiritual. And it usually symbolizes a gift or a treasure on its way to you. And that, I feel, is about transformation here. So we'll look at those closely in the book. Let's let's look at your person first. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? The person that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies in this connection at this time, please? Horse. Okay, so I feel like they um, they want to move here. They want to move forward with you. They see you as someone very reliable, someone they can count on. They might be live at a distance from you. Okay, so let's look at the bat. Darkness, letting go, death leading to rebirth, definitely. The ending of a chapter, the closing of a door. The back comes swiftly, encouraging us to move on. Okay, and then the owl is abundance, clairvoyant treasures. Represents wealth, beauty, and good fortune. Uh, an omen that a boon or treasure is on the way, either in spiritual or material form. So I feel like you have let something go, Aries. There's a huge transition you're going towards or going through. And it's bringing either a soulmate, a partner, or like some sort of opportunity to you. But I feel like these two are connected. Like one has to happen for the other one. This bat has to have a rebirth in order for this owl. Or perhaps this owl, this treasure will change your life and allow you to close a door here. <laughs> Excuse me. Horse, momentum, freedom, expansive energy, and force. Momentum, so reliable, so supportive, that you can ride on its back toward any goal, no matter how difficult the terrain. So I feel like your person is motivated here. They know what they want with you. Their eye is on the prize, and they're willing to go to long, like very long lengths to get whatever it is that they want. So let's see, what's going on in your connection? What are the mutual energies between you? Mutual energies here for Aries. And this other person. What are the mutual energies here in this connection? What do we need to know for Aries and this other person? What are the mutual, oh, that's way too many. What are the mutual energies? I just want one, maybe two. Mutual energies, please. For Aries and this other person. To the sea. Number seven. To the sea is always a very interesting energy for me because I think of, of the yin energy. I also think of six of swords, like that transition. Being in flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. Yeah, definitely yin energy. And notice how like there's like spirit 
like the face of like a spiritual being and the, and the sky there so it's like always someone watching and guiding this person on a journey see how they have like a little arrow here like a compass and there's like i don't know what you would call that like a something to look out at like long distances i know that that has a name but i'm only thinking of the name in spanish and so i can't think of it in english right now <laughs> but this is all about i feel someone going on some sort of personal journey and trusting that spirit will take them exactly where they they need to be taken to and the relationship message for this is there are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the, the course you share with another can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. So, you know, very like surrender, like someone's surrendering to whatever happens here. So let's see. Let's get into the tarot. For Aries, spirit messages for Aries in regards to love. Messages for Aries, please, regarding this other person. All right, Aries. Now this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching, so keep that in mind. Just because you are watching this reading does not mean it's for you so do not try to make it fit if it's not your reading check back next week if it doesn't resonate but if it does resonate let me know in the comments how the reading is resonating for you all right so let's get into this what are the mutual energies here can you tell me about what's going on in this connection Oops. six of cups you have history with this person king of swords reverse tell me more about what's going on in this connection i feel like someone's completely closed off here yeah the hermit completely withdrawn what's this i'm not taking this but knight of pentacles yeah someone's really thinking about an opportunity that they need to make to someone or an offer they need to make um, an opportunity that's taking a really long time to develop here someone's really thinking about this could be dealing with a Virgo, doesn't have to be. So let's see, let's look at your energies, Aries. Tell me about Aries. What energies are they bringing to this connection? What energies is Aries bringing to this connection? And Aries, I have you on this side with the bat and the owl and your person with the horse, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more because energies can be reversed. Tell me about Aries. Here you are, Aries. Emperor reversed. Maybe you don't have the resources or the power to make something happen right now. Maybe you're feeling like you don't have the courage or the ability here to make something happen. Knight of Swords reverse. What is happening, Aries? Tell me more about Aries. What do we need to know? the energies are bringing to this connection four of cups reverse you've changed your mind about something yeah either about a commitment that was broken you've had a change of heart or have changed your mind maybe you have renewed interest in something that already ended oh could have been a third party situation you could even be dealing with someone who's married We'll see when I clarify. Let's look at your person then. Tell me about this person that Aries is dealing with. Tell me about this person Aries is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? The tower reverse. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Oops, sorry. Hit the tripod there. Tell me more about this person. I feel like your person is not single. Yeah. 
your person probably has a family or um, they see you as their end all be all happiness. But right now they are attached to something, something that I feel is crumbling. Help me clarify these energies. Please consider hitting the like button or subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my readings. It really helps out the channel grow. Thank you to everyone who has already done that and who has commented and participated and supported the channel. Thank you so much. All right, let's see. Let's clarify these energies here. Oops. I haven't even asked what I want to clarify. Okay, hold on. I gotta shuffle. Let me clarify these energies there. Okay, guys, let's get into this. What happened with the Six of Cups? What's the Six of Cups about? Okay, so something happened between you and it didn't end well. Um Someone here might want to reconcile, um, clear the air about what happened, no longer be fighting with you, or no longer be separated from you. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. It's like they're thinking of the good times and they, you know, it's, it's not sitting well with them the way things ended. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please. Empress Reverse. What's this? Nine of Wands Reverse. I feel like someone really like, became closed off when all of this went down got the sun at the bottom um someone's um i feel i feel over time they're and i say someone because these are mutual energies here so you're both here um i feel like one of you here or even both of you over time your guard has come down you're no longer as hurt or affected by what happened um you're no longer as um, guarded uh, or paranoid or defensive, you know? Something here has happened over time. Um, I feel like this Empress reversed could have been something that interfered in your connection. And before I move on, I wanna say, some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn because I just did their reading and some of this is resonating for me for them. But anyways, so with the Empress reverse, to me, this is someone who is um, not happy with the way that things have gone down. Very controlling, smothering type of energy. Usually they interfere um, and aren't able to manifest or grow because of their approach. So this could be someone that's interfering in this connection or it could be that something here didn't grow, didn't manifest. Um, and it's like, People are looking at why it didn't grow or manifest, why this didn't work out, and they're having realizations about that. Yeah. There's clarity here with the sun. Let's see, what's this King of Swords reversed about? Why is the King of Swords reversed here? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Judgment. There is some sort of realization taking place in this connection or one of you is having a wake up call here. Tell me more about the King of Swords reverse, please. Knight of Wands reverse. Maybe they weren't able to commit. Maybe they played around with you and um, weren't able to stick around and, you know, they understand now. Tell me more about this King of Swords reverse. Three of Wands. I feel like time has passed, which is weird because when I put down this card, this card is all about waiting with expectation. But what I'm seeing here instead is someone that's been standing and, and, and waiting while time has passed. Knight of Cups reverse, Five of Wands reverse. Again, it's like someone wants to wave the right the white flag. They they're heartbroken about what has happened. They no longer want to fight. They no longer want there to be conflict here. I 
I'm also getting like this, this clarity, this, this wake up call happens. Like it happens and then someone like has a shift. Like something shifts with this realization. I feel like someone, whoever had this realization here, they're really thinking about their next steps with the hermit. Why is the hermit here? Tell me about the hermit, please. Yeah, they're thinking about the ending that already took place. Why is the hermit here? There could have been like no communication between you, very little communication. Yeah, someone's probably thinking about returning. Someone is thinking about why they left, why something didn't work out here, and then they want to talk. Page of Swords. They've probably been watching you. Someone has really thought about what happened between you in the past and possibly wants to return. That's just what I'm seeing here. And not only like do they want to return, but it's not enough to want something. Someone's actually thinking of how to do it. So why are you reversed over here? The Emperor reversed. Why is the Emperor reversed? Oh my gosh, Death reverse and Five of Pentacles reverse. So I feel like for you, Aries, this isn't over. You don't want this to be completely over. You would want to reconcile and have a recovery as well. You want to no longer be apart from this person, but you don't know how. It's out of your hands. Could be dealing with a Scorpio here. Tell me more about the Emperor Reverse. The Emperor Reverse. I feel like you've been wanting, yeah, you haven't had closure. You haven't, you're, you're not ready to let this chapter go. Maybe there's unfinished business between you. Maybe, you know what I'm getting here? I feel like you, yeah, you still love this person. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You know what I'm picking up here? I'm picking up with this, these two cards. It's like things had to end between you. Like this was part of your journey. Okay, hold on. Why is this Knight of Swords reverse? It's a Knight of Swords reversed here. Seven of Wands reverse. More, more cards about letting guards down and no longer fighting. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords reverse. Eight of Swords reverse. So you're breaking free of something here. You're, yeah, hold on. Four of Swords. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Capricorn. Um, this could be a Virgo here. I'm getting the same cards down here. Um, I feel like there is a, like the communication between you and this person, I feel like it was completely severed. Uh, you haven't heard from this person, but at the same time, even though you haven't heard from them, you still think about them. Um, I feel like you want to break free of that. You want to just know, you know? I feel like maybe in the past you were very hurt by this person. So you put your guard up and were resisting anything that had to do with them, uh, trying to find another path for yourself. But I feel like you always circled back here to the same person. I feel like you've been successful and um, at everything that, you know, taking care of yourself, focus on yourself, but you still don't have love. Tell me about this Four of Cups reverse. Why is this Four of Cups reverse? Yeah, look at this. It's like you want things to be right again, to be balanced again. You want to give someone or receive communication from this person. It's like you want to hear if they've changed their mind. I'm also getting the sense that there was some sort of juggling going on here. Like someone had to make a decision here. Tell me about the Four of Cups reverse. They couldn't have both. Yeah, this is what you're waiting for. You're waiting for an offer here. A very, like the Knight of Pentacles. This is what you want. And you want it from the person that you love. Tell 
me clarify these energies for Capricorn, please. Not Capricorn, Aries. Why am I thinking of Capricorn? Let me clarify these energies, please. Okay, so what is this tower reversed for your person? What is this tower reverse? Spirit. Strength reverse, nine of cups. I feel like your person either initiated a tower on their end or the tower happened, whatever tower is happening on their end here, they did it because they want to be satisfied with their life. Like they, they want to have things be balanced for them. Tell me one more about this tower reverse. Why is this tower reverse? It's like this tower was exactly what this person wanted. The sun reverse. Interesting. Yeah, like this tower is because they haven't let go of the, oh my gosh, you both are like in the same, you're both are doing the same thing. You're both having the same type of realization. You both, I feel, have to go through endings to come together. And I feel like this has been hidden from either you've been hiding this realization from yourself or from other people. Your person could be dealing with a Leo on their end over there. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles reverse. It's the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Oops. Justice, Two of Swords. Your person might have to get a divorce. That's for just for some of you, not everybody. I feel like they've been stuck somewhere and they've had to like be objective about a decision or make a decision or have an official decision made for them. Whoa. Cards just went everywhere. Tell me more about this nine of pentacles reverse. Yeah, four of wands reverse. I feel like your person is having some sort of separation or undergoing a separation. Um, if your person's single, I don't think this reading is for you. I mean, it could be that maybe this is family related, like they have to break up with family, but I'm not really getting that as much as I'm getting like someone here is like in a home, like in, in, in some sort of family environment. Yeah. And they're breaking free of a commitment or a contract here. Why is the Ten of Cups here? They could even have children. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Yeah, they want to recover what they've lost, which I feel is emotional fulfillment. Yeah. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. And it's probably like they weren't able to recover what they've lost because they were in a situation. Yeah, and this is something that they've hidden from others with the moon reverse. Yeah, this has been like self-deception or like refusing to see something for what it was. Refusing to see that something was not successful wherever they, wherever they were at. It wasn't successful. Whatever decision they made. And I feel like they've had a lot of regret over the past and possibly just want to try again. Let's see. What's the potential outcome here for Aries and this other person? Potential outcome, please, for Aries or this other person's spirit. What is the potential outcome between these two? Potential outcome, please, between Aries. None of those feel right. What's the potential outcome for this connection spirit? What's the potential outcome for that one? What's the potential outcome here for Aries and this other person? 
Yeah. Hangman. So I feel like clarity needs to happen first. This judgment card needs to happen first. Um, I feel there's a serious change of heart happening here. Someone's having a renewed interest in something that they had lost hope in. This probably felt like a hopeless situation. I don't have anything to offer Aries. I don't have anything to give them that's solid or stable. But someone's going to take the risk with the fool here. Because they can't ignore what they've realized. And look, I have the Knight of Cups right after that. Like, they cannot ignore the facts of the situation. 